Hey S'mores, Shannon Morse here. Welcome to Morse Code. This is a very unscripted video that I just wanted to get out there as soon as possible because you may unintentionally be sharing sensitive information with somebody who you may or may not actually know in the real world and you may or may not actually want them to have that sensitive information. This is in regards to Twitter tipping. So Twitter just announced this new feature, which some profiles have, some don't. I currently do not have this option on my profile so I am relying on some of my friends so that I was able to test this feature and give you the correct information. Twitter tipping is a brand new feature that some profiles have that allow them to add a little tip icon up at the top of their profile on twitter.com. You can see this on mobile. So when you go over to their profile, you can click on the Twitter tip icon and you will have the option to donate to them, to just send them money through things like Venmo, Cash App, PayPal, or Patreon. Those are the ones that I know about. Uh, however, there may be other ones added. With any of these options, what Twitter will do is allow you to click on the option, say, if it's Cash App, and it will automatically just throw you into the Cash App app, and it will automatically bring up that user's profile so that you can just type in however much you want to tip them and then hit send, and it will automatically send them money. Twitter doesn't take a fee for this or anything like that, so it's a really useful service to allow content creators, influencers, journalists, anybody who's putting out a lot of like free content on YouTube, for example. It's a way for users to show their support of those kind of self-employed individuals. I'm one of those people, so I think it's a really cool service. However, I wanted to make sure that everybody out there knows about this sensitive information issue. So if you've already used PayPal a lot in the past, if you've used it on your own online shop like I have or like Hackshop has, if you've used it for eBay purchases, or if you've just used it to send like friends or family members money before, then you probably already know about this and you can likely skip this video. But if you've never used PayPal or if you've only used it to check out on a website, you may not know that there are a couple of different options within PayPal itself. Luckily, PayPal has been informed about this and hopefully they will add some kind of pop-up or some kind of notification for people so that they understand the difference. But right now there is no pop-up that tells people the difference. So within PayPal, if you choose Twitter tipping and you choose to send somebody some money in PayPal, there's two different options. And those options are friends and family, or goods and services. Usually when you check out on an online store with PayPal, your option is going to automatically be goods and services because you are purchasing goods or you are purchasing services. If that's the case, then the seller, the person who is selling those goods or services to you, they're going to be charged a fee that's the first thing. They're also going to get access to the address, the shipping address that you have put into PayPal. And they're going to see that on a confirmation email. And they will also see that as a notification within PayPal or the application itself. So that's a very, very important thing to note here is that even though you're using Twitter to tip somebody, if you choose goods and services, they may have access to sensitive information like your home address if that is what you have chosen to put into PayPal. You may have set up a PayPal account previously and forgot that your address is in there, but when they receive that confirmation that you've sent them money through goods and services, then they will see your physical address on the receipt. They will also be charged a fee, so if you don't want them to be charged a fee, your other option is the first one that I mentioned, which is called friends and family. So if you are using Twitter tips to support the people that you watch their content online or you read their articles, I highly suggest using friends and family. Friends and family allows you to send somebody money for free so they don't get charged a fee. They also receive a receipt, they get a receipt that has no additional information about you on it. So your shipping address or your physical address, your home address, whatever you've put into PayPal previously, that's not going to be included on that receipt. The reason why is because PayPal is assuming that you're just sending money to somebody, like maybe you're paying them back or something like that, and they don't need to have access to your shipping address because they're not actually sending you any kind of goods. They're also not going to charge the person that you're 
you're sending a tip to any kind of fee because you don't have to be covered for any kind of refund or exchange or any kind of transactional basis there because there is no additional transaction happening. You're just sending somebody money. You're not expecting something in return. One other additional item to note though is whether you choose goods and services or friends and family, either of those is going to show your full name, whatever you've put into PayPal, whether that's your legal name or your business name, mine's associated with my business name, my LLC, and it will also show your email address that's associated with PayPal. So if you are sending people money over Twitter tipping and you choose to use PayPal, not only could you potentially share your home address, but you could also potentially share the email address that you use to log into PayPal. This is why it's so important that if you are using PayPal and if you store money in there, which I highly suggest that you don't, that you definitely turn on two-factor authentication. There could be people on Twitter who get access to this feature who are creating fake profiles that are pretending to be people that you follow and people that you are a fan of, and you may not know the wiser. So be incredibly careful about who you are sending money to over Twitter tipping and also be incredibly careful about it because you may be sharing your online information for PayPal with somebody that you don't really know. Now, if that's the only option, PayPal's the only option and you can't send them Cash App or Venmo or Patreon instead, and you really wanna send them money anyway, you really wanna tip them, I would highly, highly suggest going into your PayPal account beforehand, making sure that the name associated on your account is something you don't mind them knowing, making sure the email address associated with that account is something that you don't mind sharing with them. But again, that might be your login info, so just make sure you know that. Uh, turning on two-factor authentication and making sure that you're using friends and family and not goods and services. If you do have to use goods and services with PayPal and send that to random people on the internet to get random things sent to you or to pay for services, I understand. I have to do that sometimes too, especially if I'm buying like collectible enamel pins off random people on Instagram. It's something that I do. I have a public address that allows me to share it with you know, random people on the internet in case I wanna buy something from them. And I use goods and services so that it protects me in the event that they do indeed end up being a scammer. But if other options are available, then use the other options. I would definitely choose Cash App or Venmo or Patreon as opposed to using PayPal, just because I know about like all the terrible history PayPal has had because they have like locked people out of their accounts and they have, sided with the buyer even when the buyer is a scammer and i've seen them do all sorts of stuff like this on ebay so anytime there's a different option i will choose the other option i do have two friends that help me kind of put this together because i don't have again access to this feature yet they did so i was able to go to them and ask them about this we did discover one bug uh, my friend anthony quintano i was trying to do this with his profile but for some reason the paypal button on his profile was removed when I went to check it. Uh, here's a screenshot so that I can show you which options I did have to send him a tip. However, he sent me a screenshot showing his settings and in Twitter, he did not remove or disable the option to send him a tip through PayPal. So I don't know why I didn't see that option, but I was able to send him some coffee money through, I think it was Venmo. So I was really happy that he was able to help me out with this segment. I also reached out to my friend Viper. Viper also has a tech YouTube channel and I'm gonna put both of their links down below as a thank you for helping me put this video together. Viper did have PayPal enabled on his account, so he was able to show me the screenshots of the receipts that he received when I tried both ways, both goods and services and friends and family. Now, I had the expectation of this is why this happens, why people can see your address and why people can see different information about you through PayPal, but I just wanted to make sure, so thank you, Viper, for helping me make that happen. I hope 
this video answers some of the confusion that I saw about Twitter tipping online, and hopefully I can get it out there fast enough that everybody understands exactly what information they are giving to people on the internet before you go forth and start tipping everybody on Twitter, because just be careful, uh, know who you are sharing your information with and know what kind of information you are sharing with them. And even though I don't have the feature enabled on my Twitter account, I do have ways that you can support me down below. Feel free to check those out if you want. But as usual, my content is always free to watch here on the YouTubes. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And uh, I will see you in the next video, which is pre-recorded and already edited. So it will be out very shortly. Thanks for watching y'all. I'm Shannon Morris. I'll see you next time. Bye y'all.